It's up guys, how are you doing? Khaled back on KKCA with another very exciting video tutorial on Cinema 4D and this is actually our fifth tutorial in, in a row and I'm just trying to be an active community content creator because I like helping people that's my life philosophy and I'm very happy to do this series and I'm hoping that it's gonna help a lot of people out there in YouTube because you don't really have to pay a lot of money so it, it, you pay a lot of money for cinema 4d and then you also have to pay a lot of money for downloading tutorials or going to some academy to learn some things while people can show them to you for free i mean it's it's not something everyone can do so i'm just trying to help people and i hope that i can do all my best so uh in today's video we're going to take a look at the point selection and edge selection and polygon selection and as we said that I'm gonna say it one more time before you can have access to both of these three you need to in a, make your object editable and we also said that before you make your object editable you need to throw in some significant amount of segments like let's say 3x3x3 three by three by three. or let's tell our viewport to, that we want to see them so change the display to ground shading lines and now you can see them but let's say you're already working on Cinema 4D and you have a big project so let's make our object editable and you, you have just one polygon and what are you gonna do with one polygon I mean it's not it's not a, it's not enough what you can do is click on that polygon or just click on control A and control A so it selects all the polygons of your object for you and then click on subdivide and you see that it's gonna it's gonna divide your polygon to four separate polygons and it's it's amazing I mean uh, doing something at this stage I mean yeah I would always do this <laughs> yeah and one thing you can do is just once you right click you see this gear and it's gonna multiply uh, once you type in two it's gonna uh, multiply four by four and it's, if you and if you import three it's gonna multiply like four by three and uh, four by four by four and you know where this is going the, let's just input two and see what happens we're gonna get 16 polygons and this is amazing I mean you, you can also do this by using a subdivision subdivision surface and through and you can make the cube a a child of it and you can see that whoa we have sphere and that's not what we want because the subdivision surface is there to smooth out your subdivisions not just to add subdivisions so let's see what we what else we can do like you see that we have control over the point selection and this is going to be very handy when we start to create our 3d object and 3d models in cinema 4d so uh, we're not creating anything just yet you just need to know uh, i think it's important to know what everything does in cinema 4d so once you start to create things and you want to know how to edit something or to change something you're gonna know how to do it right so yes uh, and if you want to select multiple points let's say you can just click on your first point and then press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and select another point and you can also do this a lot, a lot yeah and if you want to deselect some point just click on the point hold the player pressing and holding the control key and it's going to deselect it and it's going to deselect it too so let's just add points and yeah the the way another way to select multiple points is that if you go to click and hold on this one and then go to the live selection and click on this one this one too this one too and this one too or you can just hover over them and it's going to select it for you this is very handy yeah and i really love doing this because it's very handy anyway we also have this rect rectangle selection and it's going to do the same thing for us just a little bit easier let's click you see uh, and it depends uh, i mean it's selecting whatever it is seeing and if you want to select like let's say uh, if you select these you're going to see that even the points in the back are selected and maybe you don't want that maybe you want to select only the visible uh, uh, points or elements the way to do this is just click on that rectangle selection and then go to select only select uh, visible elements and then let's see that point that was hidden is no longer selected 
so le let's do it again let's let's try to select like let's do this okay now we, we have two points hidden so let's see if it is going to select them and no it did not and this is perfect okay and now uh, you, you you can also do the same with the edge selection you have your edge okay and you, let's say you want to select another edge you can click and hold on the shift key uh, if you want to deselect this one just click control and you're back to the to that one edge and you can rotate or do whatever you want along the axis as long as you know what you're doing all right uh, another thing you can do is just uh, if you if you have like this simple simple edge you can double click uh, I mean this is not simple if you have the simple edge you can no oh shit it's not doing it uh, I think I'm gonna leave this for an, uh, another video tutorial okay so uh, if you want to like let's say copy your your edge uh, you can just click and hold control key and move move it like along the axis and if you want to copy it once more you just have to press and hold on the control key once more and so it goes you know where this is going and this is going to be all and this is also going to come very handy so like when you have some limited limited edges and you want to create more you can always do that and it's very important to know that you can always do this uh, another thing you can do is just go to the polygon selection and if you want to copy a polygon you can always do this too so let's say we want to copy this polygon control again and then you're gonna see that it that the cursor changes to something like a copy paste or the clone and yeah this is a nice way to uh, an extra mesh for your object and yeah, like you see it's it's ve it's very easy to do this uh, you just need to memorize and know what you can do okay so uh, i think that this was it for today's video and and i'm hoping that it was not so boring and yeah see you tomorrow in our new video and i, I don't know what it is going to be about but let, let's see what it's going to be about let's see